It's my feel-good breakfast show. Thank you so much, Katlejo. Well, with over 12 million children going to bed hungry every night in South Africa, feeding our children is one of the biggest issues we are facing in our country today. But there is help, yes. The Peninsula School Feeding Association, they've been feeding hungry children in the Western Cape since 1958. And they have, to date, fed over 1.5 billion meals they've handed out. Well, with us in studio to chat about why we should all get involved and help feed our, all our children. Uh, this year's Business for Bread charity walk is happening. And in studio, we have our Honorable Mr. Musi Maimani, leader of the DA. Welcome to the show, sir. Much appreciated. It's great to be here. and it's, uh, Thank you so much for having us. I see that you are involved. It's a pressing situation, hunger in South Africa. One would almost think that it doesn't happen to us because, you know, our tummies are fed. But this is a big issue in South Africa. Without fail. And I, I think we don't, we forget the fact that just about 40% of South Africans live below the poverty line. We forget the fact that so many kids go to school, even in wealthy schools, wealthy communities, you go to schools, we find young children get there and they're not being fed. I think it's something as all of us as South Africans who certainly I've been to school, you do primary school, you can appreciate the fact that if a child is arriving at school not being fed, it's a challenge. You mentioned schools a lot and it's my passion, learning, working with children. Is a school feeding program the solution to our problem? It's one of the solutions. Mm. Of course, we've got, to, we've got to work in partnership with other ag agencies, but I think without fail, no child should ever go to school hungry. Mm -hmm. I think a school feeding program ensures the fact that that child, at least for that day, they can concentrate through school. It is certainly a critical initiative. And I think without fail, as many South Africans, we can be a part of making sure that, I mean, I, I know for a fact, you know, my kids eat me out of the house. <laughs> it's without fail that every South African child must have the opportunity to be able to have a meal when they get to school. I'm excited because Blisters for Bread that uh, is being hosted this annual event last year, I know they raised close to 637,000 rand that they raised and it's all going to children, making sure that they get a nutritious breakfast, even a lunch at school and this is for the entire year. What is planned or being planned for the event for this year? Well, I certainly, I think it's going to be phenomenal. It's on the 23rd of August. They've invited corporates, they've invited uh, whatever, you know, uh, NGOs, uh, corporates, everyone can come on board. You can do a great walk on the 23rd. I think uh, entrance is about 50 Rand. And so for 50 Rand, you can make sure 25 kids get fed in this country. I think, just, just thinking about 675,000, I just mm. think, yeah it's, yeah, it's some money, but it's not enough. Mm. Let's, let's all be honest. Why, why, don't we, why don't we set an audacious target and say, on that day, we'll get, I mean, it's entries are limited to about 13,000, I think, but... Mm. Um, I'm sure corporates can be able to make a big donation to such a significant cause. It's a, it's a great opportunity for all of us as South Africans. This is not anything to do with any, any party or mm. anything. It's just got to do with us as a people saying it's not right that anyone doesn't eat. So mm. let's, I, th I think more people can put in more money. I hear you speaking about it, speaking about the 23rd of August. Will you be taking part? <laughs> uh, I, I wish I could. I really wish I could. Uh, Unfortunately, this year we've got we've got another plan. The premier of the province will be there. I'll certainly be going to a school subsequent to that to make sure the meals get delivered. Hopefully, uh, we'll get that time. It's just it worked out scheduling wise mm -hmm. that I couldn't make it this year. But I certainly will look. There's a lot of people watching today. Our show is live. What type of country do you see our children, your children, growing up in? Look, without fail, as as we've highlighted, the fact that we don't want any child to go to school hungry. I dream of a society where, in fact, every child can live in a safe community, know that they fear from, they, they're safe from violence, from crime. I want to make sure that every child has access to a decent school. Mm. Make sure that in those schools there are teachers in that classroom, that there are principals who can lead. I want to make sure that every child knows the fact that their communities are places where they can play and be free. I want to make sure that every child in this country knows that in their long term, they can have a secure place where they can find work. So for me, this issue in many ways is passionate for me, but it's also critical for the nature of where South Africa is going and its long-term trajectory. So this is, this is the South Africa we must have where access to opportunity is opened up to every single child who grows up here. Thank you so much, Mr. Musi Maimani in our studio. Well, you can get involved too. It's our Blisters for Bread charity fun walk. It's for the family and everyone can take part on Sunday, the 23rd of August. Musi Maimani, thank you for joining us in our studio today. I have one more question. Yeah. Can I make a selfie just now? Just, just like... <laughs>
I mean, we can do it. It yeah. just depends. So this is a, while we do pose. a selfie on your feel-good <laughs> breakfast show, you went over to you. Selfie, selfie. All right, we're doing it right selfie. now. <laughs>